Welcome again to this ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we will configure the return URL in our application. Let's open the Visual Studio and let's run this application by pressing Ctrl F5 and let's click on this add new book link. Okay, here you can notice that in the URL we have one query parameter return URL and it has some value. Now let's log in, in this application. And this time you can notice that we are redirected to the home page. Earlier I wanted to go to this add new book page but the application has redirected me to this home page after the login. And now if I click on this add new book then again I am on this add new book page. Now I want to configure my application in such a way that if I am on this add new book page then after login this application should redirect me to this add new book page. Suppose let me log out from this application. Okay. And suppose I am here on this old books page and from this page if I am clicking on this login button and trying to login into the application then I should be redirected to the old books page. Let's see how can we implement this feature in this ASP.NET Core application. Let's open the controller and let's open the account controller. In this account controller here we have this login action method. Let's go to the view page. This is the form that we are using for this login. If we have the same URL for the login get and post method then it is very easy to configure the return url how so over here i can remove this login because we will have this url in the get request and over here i can simply type method so method should be post so whatever url we are having for this incoming page we will post the data on the same url and because we have the same route for the get and post method it means we are good to go Okay, now let's go to the account controller and over here in the second parameter, let's use the return URL. Now, if the result is succeeded and I want to check if I have some value in this return URL, how can I check that? If string dot is null or empty, return URL. If this is not null or empty, then I will redirect my application to this return URL return make sure to use the local redact over here because the url is visible into the browser and user can type any url manually so if he has typed some third party url then your application may have some security concern so always make sure that you are using this local redact over here and in this local redact method we can pass this return url just like this let's save all the changes and run this application by pressing ctrl f5 Okay, this time let's click on this add new book link and focus we have something in this written URL. So this written URL is a query string and it has the path of my current page. So earlier I was trying to access the book and add new book page. Here in this written URL I have the same URL. Now let's try to login. Click on the login button and here you can notice that I am back on this add new book page. The application has not redirected me to the home page rather I am on the same page where I wanted to go earlier. Okay now let's log out and let's click on this all books. Suppose I want to perform the login operation from this page and after login I want to come on this same page. If I click on the login button now here you can notice that we do not have any value for the return URL. So as a first task we need to set the return URL for the login button. Let's see how can we do that. The login button is available inside this login info parcel view. Here we have this login button and in this login button we can set the value for the return URL. Let's see how to do that. So we can use the ASP route and in this route we can set the return URL. Now we need to access the current page path. And we can do that easily by using the context dot request dot path. So I have added only this code over here in this login button. Let's save all the changes. Again, run this application by pressing Ctrl F5. Let's click on this old books link. And now let's try to click on this login button. This time you can notice that we have something in the written URL. If now I will login into this application, then this application will redirect me to this particular URL. Let's see how it is working. Click on the login button. 
and again I am on the old book space. This is how you can implement the return URL in ASP.NET Core web application. That is all in this video. Make sure to hit the like button, your feedback into the comment section, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.